Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in this video I want to talk about periodization and how you should cycle your workouts. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much, so let's get into it. So periodization, this is a very complicated concept um, in, in the fitness world, okay? It's very well known, of course, and all the, the great coaches and um, even, even trainers, good trainers and everything, they, they're, they're aware of this and they know how to program you, okay? So without getting too, too much into details because it gets really complex and it gets very, very sport specific, I wanna give you in this video an outline of, of periodization, okay? So that you could just go out and uh, do this um, right away. You could use this information right away so that you can structure your workouts and um, make progress, right? Okay, so how does it work? Well, periodization essentially means that you can't be working out the same way 52 weeks a year. And you can't progress constantly going upwards like that for 52 weeks a year either. You know, it's not like if every two weeks you could add weight, you know, and just you go on and on and on for a whole 52 weeks and then you could go on for another 52 weeks and you could just keep going up like that until infinity because if that was the case, then guys who've been working out for like uh, 10 years now, you know, regularly, holy shit, they're, they're, they're gonna be benching a thousand pounds or 10,000 pounds or some crazy shit like that, right? So it doesn't work that way. So how does it work? Periodization helps you break plateaus by switching it up, by adding variety into your, your workouts and cycling them. So you're not always working out the same goddamn way and using the same goddamn exercises, okay? So here's how it works. Usually you have like, let's see now, four phases, okay? So you have the adaptation phase, which is endurance, basically. Then you have the hypotrophy phase, which is, you know, you're, you're going for a little bit of mass there. And then you have the strength hypotrophy, okay? So now you're mixing it between, you're starting to add strength to it, right? And then you have your strength, your max strength. This is where you're going for to get super strong. Okay, that's, that's the basics of it. You know, it gets more complicated and in other videos, I'll dive in more, but this video would last way too fucking long if I, if I even got into all that. And honestly, like uh, I'm still studying it right now and this is beyond my uh, personal training certificate that I, I got, by the way, guys. I got my, my, I passed my exam. I'm a certified personal trainer. The certificate's in the mail, so it'll be coming well, soon, right after the holidays uh, when, uh, you know, Christmas, New Year's and all that, you know, when people get back, uh, get their asses back to work. So, what was I gonna say? So beyond my certification, my certification, it was a very good one. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. I studied a lot. I paid a lot of attention, but there was so much more to it uh, that I dived in like uh, head first, you know, into the ocean of periodization, strength programming, you know, more specifically, specifically for sports because this benefits me as an athlete and it's going to benefit my clients too. And of course, I could share this with you guys so it could benefit you guys too, uh, this information, right? Okay, so back to periodization. Now, where was I? Da, 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 da. Okay, so those are the four things, right? And I just wanna explain briefly how this works. Like, when you're in, each phase has a, uh, a number of repetitions that you have to, that you have to uh, take into consideration, okay? When you're in endurance, you're anywhere between 15 to 20 reps, okay, in my opinion. But it changes from book to book, so it's kind of wild. Okay, so once you get out of that, uh, let's say it lasts four weeks, the endurance phase, the adaptation phase, right? Now we go into hypotrophy. Hypotrophy, you're doing nine to 12 reps, okay, of each exercise. Once, let's say that lasts four weeks, for example, once that's done, okay, you go into uh, hypotrophy strength, okay? So this would be in the rep range of, let's see now, we were... Um, 9 to 12, so now we'd be like 6 to 8, okay? 6 to 8 reps, so it's a mix of, of hypotrophy and strength. 
Now, if you guys then, when we're done with that and we go into pure strength, it's five reps and less. And how do you guys like know how, how much weight you should use? Well, it's a complicated subject, but a rule of thumb is that the reps determine the weight, okay? So when I tell you five reps, and let's say we're in uh, maximum strength, and I tell you guys, okay, you gotta do five reps of you know, uh, each exercise, well, you have to take a weight where when you get to five reps, five is pretty much the maximum you can do, or six, that's it. Like, if you do five reps, and you still feel like you could do another five, then it's too light, up the weight, you know? So you're gonna have to play with that a bit. Okay, so how would this work if, um, let's say for four weeks, what you do is that, let's say we go into the adaptation phase, okay? That's the first one. So the first one, adaptation phase, the first week, let's say you bench 100 pounds. The second week, 110 pounds. The third week, 120. The fourth week, it's not 130. I want you to go back down. So instead of 120, you go back to 110. You see where like we're going up and then we went back down. And after that, you could either continue the adaptation phase if you want to uh, stretch it out. Or if not, then fuck it. You change everything and now you go into what we call uh, strength, um, no, sorry, hypotrophy phase, right? Hypotrophy phase, remember, the weight is, uh, sorry, not the weight, the repetition is 9 to 12. You see what I mean? So then, now you, let's say you want to stay four weeks into hypotrophy. Well, once again, ideally you change the exercises. If, you know, some people uh, don't, but some people do. I, I personally like to change them. And then from there, okay, then I do the same thing. So first week, you know, and remember, your weight goes up here because how it works is that the reps determine the weight, okay? And you do the same thing. So you increase for the first, let's say, three weeks, and then the fourth week, boom, you step down, and then you continue. Either you stay, um, you, you keep progressing in that same phase, okay? Or you just change phases. So listen, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, leave it down below. I'll do my best to answer you guys. Um, and of course, like this video if you like it. Sh help me share it. It helps to spread the message and it helps to grow my channel. And I appreciate it a lot. Obviously, I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.